Hello everyone, this is Professor B coming to you from San Diego and I'm going to be giving you a brief lesson in how to factor and this particular lesson is going to talk about the sum and difference of cubes. Now when you see the word cube that means something is raised to the third power. Okay so let me just give you a little example here. First I'm going to give you uh, the two equations you're going to use and then I'm going to give you a simple example and I'm going to give you a more complicated example. Okay here we go. Here's the equations. Okay let's say you have a cubed plus b cubed. How are you going to factor a cubed plus b cubed. Okay, well here's what you're going to do. You're going to make two sets of parentheses, one small and one big. And then the first set is going to have a and b in it. The second set is going to have a and b, but the only thing is in the second um, parenthesis, the a is going to be squared and the b is going to be squared, okay? And in between, there's going to be an a and a b here. Okay, now there's going to be some signs in between here. Let's see if we can use my pointer here. Um, the signs that you're going to use here, here, and here uh, are going to come from something that I call, it's like a little memory game, but it's, um, if you're using plus, you're going to have what's called kind of like a plus sandwich okay so you're gonna have plus minus plus just think uh, of a minus sign that's like the meat and the plus signs are the bread so you're gonna go plus minus plus okay now this is sum of cubes right here now difference of cubes is almost exactly the same. You start out, okay, let's see here. I have my A, I have my B, and I have my A squared. Oh, and that makes sense because like A times A squared is A cubed, right? Good. I have my B squared, and then I have my A, B, but since you have a minus sign here, since this is a minus instead of a plus, what you're going to do is you're going to go minus plus plus. I don't know if any of you have programmed like C++. Maybe you can use that to uh, help yourself um, to remember the plus plus, you know, or uh, anything that can help you to uh, memorize this can be useful or you can just memorize the fact that it's minus plus plus so you go minus plus plus okay now now we're gonna do a simple example let's say if you have something like this x cubed plus 27 we want to factor this guy okay well in this case the thing that would be our a our a would be x. Now what you have to do is you have to find the cube root of 27 or find a number that goes that number times itself and then times itself again that's going to be 27 and uh, that number winds up being 3. So b winds up being 3 it's because of the fact 3 times 3 is 9 and then 9 times 3, oh, it's 27. I'll just write it right here. 3.3.3 3 equals 27. Okay, here we go. So now that we have what our A and our B is, then we're going to come over here, boom, put our A in, which is the X. Put our B in, which is the 3. <clears throat> okay, and then we do our A squared, 
but in this case since we're actually using the actual problem we're gonna go x squared okay and then we're gonna do b squared but our b squared is gonna be 3 squared right because we're using 3 instead of b because b was from the equation this is from the actual problem okay good so 3 squared okay and then in the middle is gonna be uh, a times b or in other words x times 3 or rather you can write it 3x now is this a plus or is it a minus this is a plus okay so since this is a plus you're gonna do the sandwich plus minus plus okay great and then when you simplify this you're gonna get x plus 3 multiplied by x squared minus 3x plus and then 3 squared which is 9 and that is the answer my friends most definitely that is the answer um, I could do one with a negative sign but if this had a negative sign instead of a positive use my little pointer here if this was a negative then basically everything would be the same except you would have minus plus plus so I'm not gonna just write that one out you can do that that one on your own okay now let's do one that is a little bit fancier okay let's say if we had something like this let's say if we had something like hmm something that has a cube root well maybe I'll just pick 27 x cubed and then uh, just for the sake of argument I'll do this one as minus uh, let me separate this real quick for you and let's pick something else that has a cube root okay 1000 alrighty let's do this my friends okay now basically what you want to do is you want to get the cube root of this whole expression right here so it's going to be the cube root of x cubed which is going to be x and it's going to be the cube root of 27 which just like in our previous problem was what it was 3 right yep good so our a in this case is 3x okay now you want to get the cube root of a thousand oh my goodness what can it be something times itself and then times itself again is a thousand well in this particular case it winds up being a ten ten times ten is a hundred and then times ten is a thousand isn't that beautiful isn't that great okay so here we go now we're just gonna put this in the formula and here we go so we're gonna get our a which is 3x and then as a matter of fact I'm gonna put the signs in later but uh, then we're gonna put our b in here which is 10 and then we're gonna do our a squared 3x I'm putting parentheses around this um, just to show you something in a minute I'll show you and then we have our b squared and then we have our a times b so we're gonna have 3x times 10 okay now we have a minus sign let's point to that we have a minus sign right here so just like how this one had a minus you're gonna use minus plus plus alrighty so let's see here so I go minus plus plus all right and what is the final answer going to be the final answer is going to be 3x minus 10 and then when you have 3x squared the squared goes on the x which makes x squared and the squared goes on this 3 here which is going to make 3 squared which is 9 so we have 9x squared and then plus and then 3x times 10 is actually 30x and then plus 10 squared is 100 okay 
So you have 3x minus 10 times 9x squared plus 30x plus 100. Yes, indeed, my friends. Great, 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 great. I hope that helped you out. When you get ones that are a little bit more complicated, like this one here, where you have numbers in the front, just get the cube root. Just get that cube root, and um, I think you will be a okay. And here's a little smile since we got everything correct. All right, everybody. Uh, this is Professor B signing out from San Diego. If you live in the San Diego area, I'm available for one-on-one -on -one tutoring. I'm a professional math tutor and I am an adjunct community college professor and thank you very much. Enjoy.